What's going on guys? Brandon Fry here. Got a lot of uh, updates for you guys today about my channel, about the upvote bot, about how we're going to be handling comment rewards from here on out, uh, investor payouts, so much more I'm going to be covering in today's video. Much anticipated stuff that you guys have been asking for. You've been wanting me to elaborate on the data of the payouts for the upvote bot. So I'm going to be covering that in today's video. Um, so stick around for that. But first off here at the beginning of this video, I wanted to thank everybody who has delegated to uh, the upvote bot, you guys are greatly appreciated, and I'm really excited for you guys because of the news that I'm going to be announcing today um, as far as payouts go. I look forward to sending you guys payouts and uh, helping you guys make some money here on the Steam blockchain. Uh, it's really, really incredible whenever you can, you know, whenever you have success for yourself, I really believe that in life you really should create opportunities for other people, and so I feel like that's what I've done here, and I want to continue doing that and make sure you know, that opportunity gets better and better as time goes on. So that's pretty much what these updates are about today. So let's go ahead and get right into them. So first off, I want to talk about the upvote bot. There's been a couple of changes to it. Not, not really a lot, but uh, I did increase the minimum bid to 0 0.10 SBD or Steam. Um, that was at 0 0.05, and I, I thought it was going to be a while before I needed to update that and increase it. But you've got some delegated so much steam power. I've also purchased some delegation from Block Trades to increase the uh, voting power of the bot. Um, so uh, there's been a couple of reasons why I needed to increase it, and it's been a good thing. And one thing I like to keep an eye on is uh, Steam Bot Tracker. Um, I'll put a link to that below. If you don't know about Steam Bot Tracker, uh, you really ought to be checking it out if you're looking to promote your post. Uh, but I've been paying attention to Steam Bot Tracker and looking at my bot on there and looking at the bids that have been coming in. And I like to make sure that we're filling each each bidding round um, so that way our investors get the maximum profits uh, for their delegation. So I'm constantly monitoring that, guys, to make sure that you guys uh, are getting the maximum rewards for your investment here on my upvote bot. Now, another thing that I'm keeping track of on SteamBot Tracker is I'm making sure that the people who are bidding on my bot are getting a maximum ROI of a, of a decent amount. And it has been great. So it's kind of a fine balance there to make sure that the investors, the delegators, are getting uh, maximum payouts, but also making sure that the people who are bidding on the bot to get an upvote are getting a good return on investment. And luckily, I've been looking at it, and uh, I've got that set at a negative maximum of negative 10 ROI, 10% ROI for the people bidding on the bot. So that's worked out great because people are uh, feeling like they're getting their money's worth. We have a lot of repeat people using the bot. Um, so that seems to be working out great, and I'll continue to keep an eye on that that balance of uh, keeping the investors happy and keep, keeping the people who are bidding on the bot happy. Another thing that I want to mention is that our upvote bot, and I call it our upvote bot because it's not just me anymore, it's other people delegating to it, has had zero downtime. Okay, so I haven't had to put it into maintenance mode, I haven't had to um, put it on standby mode or anything like that. It's had zero downtime, which is good for investors. Um, and for people bidding on the bot who want to use it every single day, um, it's good for you guys to know that it's had zero downtime, so your delegation is going to good use. And I also, again, I just really want to give a shout out to all the people who have been delegating. We had somebody today um, who delegated 1,500 steam power, and uh, another person delegated 300 steam power. Um, Raw Utah, i got to give you a shout out. He's now up to 2,500 steam power he's delegated to the bot. So... Thanks to all of these people who are investing, um, you guys are creating an opportunity for other people to uh, jump on board and invest or for other people to use the Upvote Bot service to promote their posts. So you're creating an opportunity there. Not only just you're making good passive money, um, but you're, you're creating an opportunity for other people. So I greatly appreciate it. I'm sure everybody else does as well. Now, the next thing I want to cover is something that many people have been asking about. They want to know the exact... APR percentage they're going to get back on their delegation if they decide to delegate to the Brandon Fry upvote bot. They want to know the you know how much steam back dollars or how much steam they're going to get uh, per day, per week, per month. And I really you know I've been tracking this data and I really didn't want to uh, cover this yet because it's so new. And as the bot ages, it's going to get more and more bid rounds filled. And I'm also personally adding more steam power to the to the upvote bot or to my account, which is going to increase the earnings over time. So the longer the longer the bot is around, the more and more and more profitable it's going to be. So I really wanted to wait and give it about two, three weeks of collecting data before I decided to um, 
you know, release this, this information, but so many people are asking for it. And I feel like there's a lot of people who want to delegate to the bot, but they just want to make sure that uh, they're getting a good APR or, or ROI, return on investment, um, for their delegation compared to other services out there. So today I'm going to actually cover that, even though we've only got nine days of data. Um, I do want to go ahead and cover this so people kind of get an idea um, of what the minimum APR will be on the upvote bot. Okay, so what I've done here is I've been tracking uh, the different payouts for a few different people here in a spreadsheet on Google Drive. And, uh, you know, I only did a few people because it's all constant. So I just did a few people with different amounts. So we got 50 here. Again, Raw Utah is up to 2,500 SP. We have NB Sage at 300. Uh, my other account at 50. And then Tony Green 113 at 200 SP. So let's take a look at some of these uh, really quick just to kind of figure out the APR. Um, basically, how much you would be earning per year from using my upvote bot or delegating to my upvote bot service. Um, now, one thing I want to mention is that Raw Utah's is going to be a little off because he just added 500 yesterday, so he hasn't even gotten a payout for the for the total 2,500. He's got a payout for 2,000. He's got a payout for 1,500. So what we'll do is we'll do a, uh, an average of these two right here because he's only been at even 2,000 for so long for a couple of days. So we want to make sure we get this as accurate as possible. Um, so I, I'm not going to like say Raw Utah quit adding because you're making this more complicated for me to check. No, I want you to keep delegating more and more if you can, of course. Um, but this will be a little funny uh, calculating this, but no worries whatsoever. We'll get a rough idea by the end of this video. All right, so first let's do Luis, uh, Luis said on news. Um, he has a nine day total. By the way, this is seven days we've had for week one and we've had two days in week two so far. So that's nine days total of earnings. So let's do a uh, 0.417, and what we want to do is divide that by 9 to get a daily earnings, which is 0 0.04633, and then we're going to multiply that by 365 to get the yearly total. And again, this is going to increase, so this is really just a rough estimate off of 9 days of data. 16.911, um, so what we're going to do is go over to the percentage calculator, 16.911. Is what percentage, and he's delegated 50 steam power, so we need to figure out what the percentage of that is. And that is 33.822% APR. Okay, 33.822. Let me go ahead and copy that over and put that in there. All right. And let's go ahead, go ahead and try out Raw Utah, who's got a total of 14.578 for the nine day total. And we want to divide that by nine. And then we want to multiply that by 365, okay? And that's 591.21. So 591.21. And then for his steam power, we're going to do uh, 1,750. That's going to be an average of the, of the totals that he's had in there, which are 1,500 and 2,000. Uh, the 2,500 or the, the extra 500 he just added was yesterday, so he hadn't gotten a payout for that on that amount yet. So we're going to do an average of these right here. Let's click calculate and you can see 33.78. Let's go ahead and copy that over. Paste that in there. And then NB Sage has done uh, 2.577. 2.577 and divide that by 9. Then multiply that by 365. That's going to be 104.511, so 104.511, and then we want to find out what, how much they've uh, delegated, which is 300, so we need to find out what percentage of 300 that is, and click calculate, and 34.837, so actually a little higher than the others, which is interesting, and I need to just double check. She may have just added a little bit more, but I don't believe so. So let's go ahead and put some percent signs back here. All right, so what we're seeing, guys, is anywhere between 33.7 and about 35% APR uh, from delegating to my upvote bot. And this is, uh, this is constant. So this isn't like if I delegate 50, I'm going to get less. Or if I delegate uh, 2,000, I'll get a whole lot more. No, the APR is going to remain pretty constant, okay? The only time it's going to um, change and this is important, guys. The only time that the APR percentage is going to change is as I personally add more steam power to the upvote bot, which is 
going to bring me to my next point here in a moment, um, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be adding more and more steam power to my upvote bot. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but the delegators make 80% of all of the bids that come in for the upvote bot, okay? Even though I have a huge stake in my channel, you know, I have a lot of steam power in there, 4,000 at the moment, 80% um, of all the bids that come in go to the delegators, okay? That goes to the investors. 20% uh, goes to my, my account, my channel, um, and here soon, once we, um, we're going to have to grow a little bit bigger, uh, but here soon I'm going to be taking an even smaller stake and splitting that up with a community or a project here on Steemit. Um, so that, that's what future, the future holds. Uh, but for the current time being, 20% uh, goes to my channel, 80% goes to the investors, which is huge. As I add more steam power to my channel, you may have guessed it, but the delegators are actually going to get even higher APR, even, even higher returns, okay? So that is kind of the, the changing factor uh, in this whole equation here. So that's what I'll be doing, and I'll be adding more and more steam power as we go along. Now, just to do a comparison real quick, because I know a lot of people use Minnow Booster, and I've talked to a lot of people on my channel who say, Brandon, I would like to invest in your upvote, but I'm just waiting for some, uh, some, some leases to be up on Minnow Booster because I've been delegating my steam power out there to people. So I want to do a little comparison here between my upvote bot, the returns you're going to get on it, and Minnow Booster. So let's go over to Minnow Booster real quick, and I'm going to go look at the new uh, lease request from people. So this would be like if you had a lot of steam power and you wanted to earn some money on your steam power, um, you could go over to Minnow Booster and you can um, do what they call leasing your steam out, uh, delegating basically, and earning some earnings from people who uh, want to pay you for that. So I'm going to click this column here, net APR, so we can see what the highest ones are on here right at the moment. So at the moment, the highest APR you're going to get is 27.73% APR. So let's go back to mine again. So, so for, with my other bite, you're getting 33.7 at a minimum. So that's a lot higher. That's 10% higher than you'd be getting by using a Minnow Booster and leasing your steam power out there. Not to mention, guys, that whenever you use Minnow Booster and you're delegating your steam power out to people, these people want it for like four weeks or six weeks or two weeks. You know, some people want it for a week. So what's going to happen is as you not only do you get a lower APR on Minnow Booster, and I'm not, I'm not bashing Minnow Booster. I think it's an awesome project, and I think it's cool what they're doing is they're creating a, uh, a free platform. Not a free. You have to pay a little bit for it. But um, they're creating a platform for people to kind of say, hey, I need some steam power. And then Wells can come on here. And it, it is like it makes it a little, it's like a one-stop shop. It makes it easier for Wells to find a place to, to make some money, right? Um, not everybody knows about the brand of Pride Pod, okay? Um, so you're going to get a smaller return um, net APR from Minnow Booster. And again, not to mention that uh, you have to wait. So if you delegate this out for four weeks to this person, well, once that four weeks is up and if they don't renew it, you know, if they don't want to, to purchase this again from you for four weeks, then you've got to undelegate, which means you're going to have to wait seven days before you can make any money off of your steam power again. Okay, because there's a cooldown period when you undelegate. So the cool thing about with my upvote bot, there's no cooldown period and unless you decide to remove your delegation from my bot, you will consistently, you know, constantly uh, be earning that that uh, those returns daily uh, without having to pull away or, or renew a lease or find somebody else to delegate to. Delegate to the upvote bot, forget about it, let those daily payouts come in. Okay, and if you decide, like a lot of my uh, delegators have done, to increase your delegation over time, then you still don't have any cooldown period. You're just adding more and more delegation to my upvote bot, which means your returns are going to be higher and higher and higher. So, so again, I'm not bashing Minnow Booster. I think it's an awesome platform. Uh, I think it's great that they've set up kind of a, a one-stop shop for this type of thing. Um, I'm just letting you guys know that there are some benefits to using my upvote bot service over Minnow Booster because there's no cooldown period and you're going to be earning more from it, okay? All right, now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be making some changes to my channel in order to, uh, from here on out, in order to add more steam power to my channel. You know, in the past, I wasn't worried about investors. I wasn't even worried about building my money in my account that, that much. Uh, but now, things have changed a little bit because I need to focus on taking care of the investors, people who have decided to delegate to my upvote, but I've got to take care of them but at the same time, I want to keep taking care of you guys. 
um, like I've been doing with the comment reward. Uh, but we are going to make some changes to that. Now, over the last couple of days, I've been thinking um, about how, you know, different ways where I can put some money aside, budget better to put more money into Steam Power in my account. So that way my delegators are getting higher and higher returns on their, uh, on their Steam Power delegation to me. And so that got me thinking one way I could do this is switch up how I do the comment reward system, okay? So as you guys know, every video I do, I give away money for uh, people who upvote and comment on my post. Um, I've done this as a way to reward you guys for leaving me valuable feedback, uh, giving me ideas for different videos to do, and just you kind of letting me know what you guys are looking for, information that you're trying to learn about here on the Steam blockchain. So that's why I do that comment reward. And I don't want to stop that because I value your feedback so much. Um, and I also want to reward you guys for leaving me awesome feedback and comments and suggestions. Um, but I am going to switch this up a bit, okay? So instead of the 20 US dollars worth of SPD that I've been giving away with every single video that I do, um, instead we're going to be use, using the upvote bot to reward you guys instead, okay? So I'm going to be giving an upvote to a lucky person who upvotes and comments on my video, basically giving you a free boost um, for, for just for sharing feedback on my channel, which is awesome. And currently, it's going to be a 10% upvote from the bot. And, um, you know, it may sound like not that much right now, but as the channel grows or as the, uh, the bot grows, and that's the, remember, that's the whole idea of, of switching this comment reward up is taking that 20 US dollars a video that I've been giving away and feeding that into Steam Power to the bot to where, you know, who knows here in a few months, that 10% could be worth uh, more than the $20 I was giving you guys. Um, originally. So that's my whole thought press, process on this. Um, that's the whole idea of this. Um, so the 10% upvote might be less than, you know, it will be less than $20 uh, currently, but as Steam rises back up in value and as the channel of the upvote bot gets more power, more delegation, or more Steam power from me because I'm going to be feeding it more Steam power now, um, that 10% upvote is going to be a whole lot more than $20 eventually. So um, I want you guys to see a long-term vision behind that. And again, a lot of you guys have actually commented to me saying, Brandon, I, we don't even care about the reward. We want to leave comments for you anyway because we appreciate what you're doing and all the information you're sharing with us. We want to give you suggestions of things we want to learn about. Um, but, you know, me, I like to reward you guys for taking the time to do that. In today's busy world of, of you know, online social media, people don't take time for anything anymore. Um, so I do appreciate it when people take 5, 10 uh, sometimes five minutes to leave a really, really good comment on my post. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if there's something you want to learn about. So I want to reward you guys. I'm going to continue doing that. And I think a 10% upvote, uh, utilizing the upvote bot is a really, really great way of doing that. It's a more sustainable way of continuing to do the comment reward. And guys, I want you to think about it like this, uh, $20 a video that I've been given away. That's with about five videos a week. That's $100 a week or $400 a month that I could be putting into the upvote bot, okay? Um, so if by switching that around and putting the money into the upvote bot, it's going to um, increase the steam power of the bot so fast. And that 10% upvote that I'm going to be giving you guys is going to be worth, again, it's going to be worth so much. So uh, I think this is a really brilliant way. And I, I sat and brainstormed about this with my girlfriend yesterday and thinking, you know, a better way to do this that's more sustainable, that'll reward you guys more. Um, and also reward my investors more because I'm adding steam power to the account. So it just made complete sense. And as you guys will see at the bottom of my post now, there's a couple of graphics actually. One is right here, want to earn passive income on Steemit. Uh, click here to learn how, and that takes them to, that'll take you to uh, the page where I'll talk about my upvote bot, the, the settings for the upvote bot and how to delegate to it and, and how to earn from it. Um, then we've got a graphic down here, daily comment reward. I choose a winner, new winner every post. Um, and it says upvote and comment for a chance to win a 10% boost from the Brandon Fry bot. So you'll start to see this at the bottom of every post now. I put that together yesterday and, and I actually like this. It actually cleans up the articles a lot because there's just less stuff here. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I think this looks a lot better. Okay. So um, let me make sure that is everything that I wanted to cover today. I don't want to miss out on anything. We've gone over about, about payouts, uh, new comment rewards, more money for the delegators, uh, the ROI, increase the bids to 0 0.10 Steam or SBD. We've had zero downtime. We've had lots of new delegators. So yeah, I want to keep updating you guys and being as transparent as possible, letting you guys know what's going on with the upvote bot, 
um, what's going on with my account, how I'm doing things. And uh, you know, I think that these changes moving forward are going to be great. Uh, with the comment rewards changing, that's going to vastly improve uh, the channel and the upvote bot and make everything more sustainable. And more steam power will be added to the bot account each and every day. And uh, this will rapidly increase the growth of the upvote bot, creating more opportunity for bidders and put more money in the investors' uh, pockets. And that's what I'm looking to do. I'm look, looking forward to taking care of you guys. And the next step going forward, um, hopefully in the next couple of months, I don't know, this thing is growing so fast with more and more people delegating. And thank you guys again for uh, delegating your steam power to the, to the bot. But with it growing so fast, it may not be that long before we can start funding growth um, for a project here on Steemit, um, whether that's somebody who's already created a project, you know, already created something really cool, uh, or if we create our own, right? <laughs> so I've been thinking about that as well, uh, maybe creating a community for minnows or uh, even plankton, you know, uh, people who have uh, very small channels here, helping them get a jump start on Steemit. Something like that might be really cool. So we'll look at different opportunities. And when that time comes, I will just simply decrease the, uh, decrease the funds that I'm getting myself from the Upvote Bot service. And so I won't be touching the delegators at all. They'll remain at 80% or higher even. Um, but I will be uh, reducing my, my payouts to fund whatever project that is or whatever community that is. Okay, So that's something cool I'm looking forward to in the future. For the time being, we need to grow a little bit more, so let's just keep on doing that. So if you guys want to uh, delegate to the Upvote bot and start earning uh, upwards of 35% or higher APR per year on your uh, Steam power, uh, I'll leave some links below so you can do that. And uh, also you can check out, you can just click this, this graphic here, want to earn passive income on Steam, it, just click there and it'll take you to the Upvote bot where you can learn more about it. Okay. All right, guys, well, that's all. That's all the updates for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those below. Happy to elaborate on any of this data I shared with you today or anything else. If you have an idea for a video you'd like to see, something you'd like to learn about the Steam blockchain, also I would love to hear those below, so let me know. Other than that, guys, we'll see you on the next video. I hope you have an awesome day.